Welcome along to DTTV with Sim. We're looking at the wheel assembly today. As you can see here, we've got a sheet which has got a variety of different aspects on it, including section views um, and a detail view of the actual wheel itself. Uh, we're going to set up this onto an A3 sheet, and you can see the section views are cut through. And we'll talk you through how to do those as well, um, and all the other bits that are necessary for the sheet. So. I've got my model and I've made my two parts, the hub and the outer, into an assembly. You should do the same. So there's some simple mates there for you to complete. Once you've done it, then save it. I've also got a template open and it's an A4 template, the one that I've used many times before. So it's the one that we've used as standard. I need to now create an A3 sheet. So in doing so, what we're going to do is we're going to find the A3 ANSI landscape. So you've used the A4 before, this is the A3. That means the sheet is the right size, but we do have the uh, wrong border on. So I've just closed the model uh, attachment edit sheet, and I'm going to delete out the stuff here in blue, which I don't want. Now you could go through and you could go through the arduous process of doing this whole box again or what we can do is we can actually copy and paste it. So I'm going to drag around it and I'm going to press Control c on the keyboard. Obviously I had to edit the sheet to do that and then on this sheet I'm going to press, press Control and v Now what happens is when I press Control v wherever the cursor is uh, it will actually put the image in. There's no point in trying to drag and drop this around. So as you can see, several different goes. Each time I'm pressing Control-Z if it's in the wrong place. So Control-Z and then Control-V again to paste it in. Once I've got it pretty much where I want it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to get it a little bit more accurately in. So there we are, nice and small in the corner. Um, it doesn't quite meet up in some spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to trim lines out and neaten it up. As you go through this, um, you should be looking to make it neat and tidy, remove extraneous lines, bits you don't need, don't delete anything obviously that you want to keep. Uh, larger font sizes for certain component parts are appropriate, particularly if your boxes get slightly bigger. And also checking the scale of the sheet. Uh, we're intending to use 5 to 1 here. You may choose to use something else depending on what it is, but the likelihood is for this particular exercise it will be 5 to 1. So. I'm just going to move through and just neaten this up and have a, make sure all the boxes meet where they need to meet and that everything says what I need it to do. that done we can now edit sheets so we go back into looking at the whole sheets and we've now got your A3 pro forma you should save this um, as your A3 template because you will use it again for other drawings I'm now going to go in here find my wheel hub which is saved and click refresh to update my palette and I'm going to drag in my most appropriate view so I've got the most complicated view looking at it from the front and I'm going to have the view looking from the side above it these are a bit small for my A3 sheet. Obviously the whole idea of using A3 is so that we can have more detail. So I'm going to change this. Clearly not 1 to 5. Let's try 5 to 1. There we go. Drag these apart so there's a little bit of distance. Now this drawing itself doesn't require you to add any dimensions. So you don't need to do that. But you will need hidden detail. I'm going to pop in the isometric view, change the scale of that as well, so changing the scale on the left hand side as we need to and obviously this one also needs to have a render view, so user custom scale 5 to 1 rendered. Drag it around so it's not touching any of the borders. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm going to go through view layout tool, and there's a couple of tools in here. The first one is the detail view. Now, uh, what you need is it's going to draw a circle. So this one, I'm going to find the appropriate place. I want to show the detail of this particular part. And as you can see, it enlarges that part to 10 to 1. And I'm going to drop it onto my sheet here. If you make a mistake, this bit here, um, you can then amend by double clicking it. So if you make a mistake, it will come out with detail B. You can change it back to detail 1. I'm now going to section view, and I'm going to put my line in straight down the middle and that will give me my my first section view. Now you've got this box that's probably popped up so I've clicked include hatching and I'm going to drop that view on. Green tick that and back up to my section view tool again and I don't want another one in the middle. Um, I'm actually going to pop it uh, here for the moment. And as you can see it's not a great deal of difference and it says C here. I've decided I don't want that. So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to delete the C because I put my section view through the wrong way. Then what I'm going to do, go back to my section view, I'm going to go more through the actual tire part. Green tick that. OK that. And pop it in. And as you can see, it's a, there's more detail of the tread in that view. This one, however, now says D and D. Now in this box up here, I can change it back to C and green tick it. So everything is therefore up to date. Now just a question of shimming my sheet around so everything sits in the nice in the right place so there's enough space between things, making sure that my annotations and various other aspects are easy to read. I'm also going to put a note on to label my view here. This is something you'll need to do during your assessment process, so it's something worth knowing how to do. You've obviously done it once in the previous A4 sheet on the wheel hub, so isometric view. Pop in the scale. Move that around so it's in the right place. And then you're ready to save your finished sheet. Thanks for watching another episode of DTTV The Sims.